In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get even with people who send you email spam, as well as provide you with a couple of tips of how you can protect yourself to reduce and even eliminate this in the future. Now, personally, I'm very careful with my email address. I don't give my email, my real email address, out to too many places. One thing that really pisses me off is signing up for one website that I thought was legit on the up and up. I don't know exactly which one it was. It was one of those free website builder sites like Weebly or Wix or something like that. And I know for a fact they sell your email address. Unfortunately, I'm not sure which one it is. But, you know, here's another spam email that just came in. And as far as a tip for protecting yourself, two tips. When you get spam email, I know it might be a natural instinct that you get pissed off and you want to hit reply and tell the person that you've reported them to the government and their ISP and you want to swear at them. And I've been guilty of this myself a few times. The problem with that is... All you're doing at the very least is confirming to the sender of the spam email that your email address is legit. So you're encouraging both the sale of your email address to other spammers as well as continued spam from the original spammer. Another thing you don't want to do is never click any links in a spam email. Generally speaking, even the ones like this that say if you would no longer like to receive emails, click here to opt out. I wouldn't do that. I mean, the best thing you could do is mark as junk. So don't click any links in spam emails unless you know that you subscribed to the person who's emailed to you. Then you can click the unsubscribe link and you're safe. And the other thing you don't want to do is you notice how this email isn't showing images at all. You have to click here, show remote content in this message, which will load the images. Don't do that because when you do that, the email is going to make requests to the web servers for the images and any other resources to display the hidden content. And 99.9% .9 of the time, there's hidden code in there that's only going to confirm to the spammer that, again, that your email address is legit, which is going to encourage more spam and encourage the further sale of your email address. Now, as far as getting even with spammers, probably one of the best things you can do is if you come to this web page that is part of this video on how to get even with email spammers, there's a few specialized Google searches you can perform. These are four of them. And the idea here is you want to sign up the spammer for as much stuff as you can. And this specialized search will help you find websites that have sign-up forms. Like for this, subscribe to receive free mail updates. Go to the different web pages, find the ones where you can enter in that person's email address. I'll be honest with you, most of the time today, 99% of the time when you subscribe to something, the email has to be confirmed. But at the very least, uh, every person you sign up for, they're going to get something where they're asked to confirm their email address, so they're going to have to deal with that. And some of these places that you sign up for are also going to be illegitimate, so it'll end up resulting in the sales of the spammer's email address to these places you're signing them up for. Uh, what I would encourage you to do, because this will be a little bit time intensive the first time you do it, I would do is have Notepad open when you find a web address or a web page rather that does have a form where you can sign somebody up for something, copy and paste that web address to Notepad so in the future you'll already have set aside and ready a list of places that you can send spammers email addresses to to give them right back what they're giving to you. We're thinking of creating an application that's going to automate this process and really make it a lot quicker and easier for you to get even with spammers. We're going to take the number of likes we get on this video as a sign that we should create that. If we get more than 10 likes altogether, we'll create that application for you. We'll probably offer it for free. Be sure to come to this page because there's a lot more tips I didn't discuss in this video. Thank you for watching.